This is your tech news guru coming from Mini Nova Studios and today we're going to show you how to make a backup of a DVD. Yes, I said it, a backup of a DVD. First things up, let me show you what you got to do. Um, you're going to go into your browser. First thing you're going to do is basically type in DVD decryptor up here. Once you do that, you're going to get a selection of all types of DVD decryptors. Um, basically, this is at your own discretion of which one you want to download, but most of them are pretty good. And the one you want is the DVD decryptor, which looks like this. You're going to download it. Uh, the link is going to be in the bottom down there, so you'll be able to do what you need to do. Once you have downloaded that program, the next program you're going to need to do is download clone DVD to put the DVD back together which would be this program here and the link for that one is going to be at the bottom down there clone DVD will help you put the DVD back together so you're able to watch it on your regular DVD player okay now let me show you what the programs look like once they download it any day now that's DVD decryptor once you have it downloaded this is what it looks like up here you have your menus of your tools that will help you download your DVD um, I would recommend if you're going to download a DVD or I should say not download but copy a DVD um, you need a good dual layer DVD burner in your computer this works really well on Windows 7 Windows 8 Vista and also XP if you still have XP um, once you do that you're going to get your DVD. Um, best place I say to get good DVDs from is Redbox. Um, as you can see right here, I've already copied a DVD, Transformers 4 Age of Extinction. You're going to throw it in your burner. Once you throw it in your burner, you're going to get a list that'll look like this after reading the DVD. Any day now. Give it a second. There you go. All these here in the blue are all your files, your information of the DVD, your deleted scenes, all that kind of stuff. Once you get that going, you're going to go into your computer. I say basically take a file on your computer, which would be like this. Go into your local C drive, or you could actually store it on a uh, uh, external hard drive um, basically what I did is I took it and I went into my videos actually my I have a second drive in my computer and as you can see in here I have a ton of movies already copied um, basically 300 the new 300 Hulk um, all the movies that basically I rented from Redbox and then once I did that I copied them for a backup copy and I have my own once you do that part and copy the DVD basically now you're gonna come over to clone DVD once you have downloaded that program into your computer you're gonna see here you have clone DVD titles, clone a DVD, and write existing file. Most of the time what you want to do is clone a DVD. You're going to click on that, and then in the little circle right here, you're going to click on that. This will give you the list of where your movies are stored on your hard drive, and basically this will give you what you want to put the movie back together click on transformers it highlights click OK and there's the list of all the parts of the movie this will give you the chance to basically go through which parts you don't want like if it has a ton of extras previews all that stuff you could chop those right out of it in this area right here as you can see along the bottom the quality of the DVD is in the red zone 
Now you don't want it to be all the way down in the red zone. Like around here where it starts to turn is okay. Up in the green is excellent. It'll copy even faster. But you can leave the quality alone like that. If it doesn't show any better, it'll let you know. But what you're going to do after this is all good for your liking. And as you can see, this is the preview of the movie. It's telling you what chapter it is, the timeline, and then you click next. This section here is where you can get rid of a few things. Like if you have subtitles, it also has subtitles in Portuguese. You can delete that. Um, come over here, same thing again, the system preferences. You can delete the Portuguese. And this is where you keep your surround sound. You got two channels, your left and right, your six channels for your surround sound. Then you got audio languages. Most of the time keep English, but if you speak Spanish or French, you can select those two. But as you can see here, down in the quality timeline, uh, basically I deleted the Portuguese subtitles and it jumped up quite a bit because now I don't have that extra information going on to the DVD. So the quality has gotten a little bit better. And then you click next. Basically in this section here is just telling you where everything's going, how it's going to be written. Then you click go. And this part here is what's going to write it to your DVD. And as you can see it's showing your preview clips of what's going on, what part of the movie you're in, and all that. And basically once that is all completed, this whole section here will fill up with green, showing you that it's written. And then at the bottom section down here is the section that's going to burn to your DVD. Once that is completed, your DVD is going to be burnt to your disc. And basically you would have a copied DVD. And then for me I have to go back into my computer to eject the disc because it's also being used on a Mac and what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna go over to our DVD player and show you what it looks like Putting in the DVD in my PlayStation 3. And basically, and there you go. copied movie. Wouldn't recommend you do this to make money because they will come and get you but if it's just for your personal copy this is what you need. If you have existing DVDs and you need them backed up because your little ones like to scratch up your movies this is what you can do. Okay, well, now just to remind you, if you want to do this on a Blu-ray, you need a Blu-ray burner and Blu-ray DVDs, alright? Alright, so thanks for watching, Tech News Guru, signing off, talk to you guys later.